Hey folks, in this video we're going to look at the explicit rule for an arithmetic sequence. We're going to learn how to write the rule on this slide. This is the table we're going to use to derive our rule or our equation. And then we're going to use that rule on the next slide to predict values further down the line. We're going to be able to use our explicit rule to predict what's going to be the 20th term in this sequence, what's going to be the 30th or the 40th term. So if you look right here, we're writing the explicit rule for an arithmetic sequence 3, 8, 13, 18. So our first term in the sequence is a 3, and there's not a lot of math to do there. We start with the 3, but then you can see that this um, number that we're increasing by every time, we're going to call that the common difference, that number is 5. So to get our next term in the sequence, we can take our 3 that we started with, and we add 5 to it. And, and there's not going to be a lot in our simplify column, but we see that's how we get our 8. We took our first term of 3, and we added 5 to it. Now. For our third term in the sequence, to get the 13, what we did is we took our previous value and we added 5 to it again. So we took our previous value, which we can represent with 3 plus 5, and then we add 5 one more time. And if I wanted to simplify that, 5 plus 5, repeated addition, can be shown as multiplication, 5 times 2. And if I wanted to continue our pattern, I could call that 5 times 1, and I could call that 5 times 0 if we wanted to. But basically, that's how we get the 13, 3 plus 10. To find our fourth term in the sequence, we take our previous term, which I'm showing in red, and we add 5 one more time. Or in other words, we do 3 plus 5 times 3, which would give us our 18. And I think by this point, you can see the pattern. To, to do the fifth term, we're going to take the term before it and add 5 a fourth time to give us 3 plus 5 times 4, or a 23. Now, what I want to do in this last row of the table is generalize. Look, look what we've got going on here. What we see is that every single expression right here starts with that 3, and then we're just multiplying 5 a certain number of times. Okay, To find the fifth term, we did 5 times 4. To do the fourth term, we did 5 times 3. To do the third term, we do 5 times 2. And hopefully you recognize that the, the number here is just one less than the term we're looking for. So if we're looking for the nth term, we do 5 times n minus 1. And that's going to be our explicit rule. If I wanted to do a sub n and use that subscript notation, we do 3 plus 5 to the n minus 1. Now, that's our rule for this particular sequence. When we start with 3 and we increase by 5 every time, but let's generalize. Don't we think that this pattern could hold true um, for other arithmetic sequences? This number right here is basically our first term. Not basically, it is our first term. And this number right here is our common difference. So I'm going to write here in purple your big takeaway, that for an arithmetic sequence, you just do your first term plus your common difference and multiply it by n minus 1, okay? This was our arithmetic, uh, our explicit rule for this particular sequence up here, but this is how we're going to write the explicit rule for any arithmetic sequence. So let's use that knowledge on our next slide. So we're going to use the explicit rule, or we're going to write the explicit rule, and then find the 37th term in the sequence. Well, if we look at our sequence right here, this is an arithmetic sequence. It looks like it's going down by 2.5 every time. And so what we learned on our last slide is that to find our explicit rule, we start with our first term plus our common difference times n minus 1. Well, in this particular case, our first term is 25. Our common difference, because this is decreasing, because we're subtracting, this is going to be minus 2.5 to the n minus 1. So here's our explicit rule right here. And now let's learn how to actually use that explicit rule. To find the 37th term in the sequence, in other words, to find a sub 37, we do 25 minus 2.5 to the n minus 1. We just substitute a 37 in for n because that n represents the position in the sequence. So now if we simplify, just got a little bit of arithmetic to do, minus 2.5 times 36 which simplifies to uh, 2.5 times 36 is 90. And that means that the 37th term in this sequence is negative 65. So that's really everything that we needed to take away in this problem. We need to know how to, uh, like our general form of the explicit rule. And then we need to know that if I can identify the first term and the common difference, I will then have that explicit rule for an arithmetic sequence 
that we can use to predict, say, the 37th term in our sequence as we did here.